video game boss. Laser robot unicorn boss. Sick. Hello guys, how you doing? Hey, how you doing guys? I'm Dustin and today I'll be reviewing Nightmare on Elm Street. It's made by LGN. They brought you other classics such as Friday the 13th and Beetlejuice. So yeah, it should be pretty good, huh? Actually, I'm sure it fucking sucks. Oh, God. Hey, guys, I'm Dustin, and today I'm playing Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, God, this is, uh, like I said in the earlier video, this is one of those really crappy LJN releases. It's going to be a fucking stinker. <laughs> oh, my God. It, it, I don't know. This is one of those games that it has to be seen to be believed. Or, yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Anyway, <laughs> here we see our nondescript hero in, uh, on Elm Street. So yeah, the, the first portion of the game here... Oh, my God. First portion of the game... Oh, my God. See, is running around trying to figure out which, uh, which house to go in. And uh, even if you manage to, oh my god, even to, if you manage to pick the, the right house, you have to be sort of at a weird angle for some reason for it uh, to let you enter the uh, house. And I have, man, I played this once before, actually I played it three times before I started recording, and there was a couple times where I entered the house and, or I was trying to enter any of the houses and I was running back and forth on the main screen until I fucking died and actually sh I reset the game. Because I couldn't get any of the houses, and it just doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, when you go, when you finally get into one of the stupid fucking houses, um, you're greeted by spiders and spiders, <laughs> and well, it looks like bees or so I don't know. But uh, basically, you're playing as like you said, I said before, your nondescript character. You run around collecting Jason, or oh, not Jason. Ah, run around collecting Freddy's bones. You collect them all, you can do battle with them. That's pretty much, pretty much it in a nutshell. The whole, the whole entire game. Right there is it, it's a flipping to night mode. Uh, if you're playing this game, you really want the game to flip to night mode because, on regular mode, your character is a gigantic fucking wimp. So uh, when you're in the houses, you can uh, pick up uh, special abilities like I'm a track star guy. I guess he's throwing javelins. And you really want uh, to get that because uh, normally your character, especially if you're a normal character, you're not in like that sleepy uh, dream mode. Uh, you're basically gonna get your ass kicked because it's like almost fucking impossible to hit. Oh my god, I really don't want to hit that stair. No! Fuck! It's almost impossible to hit Freddy when you're in the uh, normal non dreaming world, when you're in the real world. Of course, in the real world, your character can only punch about the length of his fist. So, most of the time when you're trying to take out uh, spiders and bats or whatever, it's like almost impossible to hit them. <laughs> so it's almost in your... Uh, Jason, or Freddy's right... I don't know why I keep saying Jason, but Freddy's right over there and... It, it's in your best interest to sit around and wait till uh, for uh, nighttime mode to uh, pop up a dream world or whatever or what have you. So you can just basically run around punching rats and uh, bats <laughs> just to kill time. I'm going to switch it up to a track star. Because <laughs> otherwise, if if, uh, if you're in normal world, you're basically just feeding him lives. And actually, the Freddy bosses on this game are just ridiculously easy. They're also pretty random, uh, pretty random about how far he was reaching there. Yeah, well, after you beat him, you go back to uh, Elm Street and you uh, basically run him back and forth until you find the next house to go into, which uh, that just in that itself can be a chore because sometimes getting into the buildings is really dumb. Like sometimes you'll just stand there and hit up and nothing happens. And then you'll be like, like just like that, I'll be off way to the side for some reason and I'll just run in. I don't, I don't know what what exactly the reasoning for that is, but that's how it works, because it's an LJM product. Oh my god. The thing about this game is that they do feed you a lot of lives, but uh, it really doesn't help because the game is a fucking stink fest. Yeah, that was totally fair, that bat that just popped up by my ankles that I couldn't see. 
cool. See, you're such... You're, in the normal world, your character is just a giant wimp. Your nondescript hero. Brrrr. It's like everything is just out to kill you. I, what kind of houses have daggers flying out of the walls and spiders hopping up and down out of holes? Ah. Now I got three bars of that uh, awake level. Two now. I'm waiting for them to go down. You go squish now. Ah. <laughs> Actually, I think I can enter the next uh, part without uh, getting all too fucked up. So I, I noticed, though, playing through this, that some of the parts actually require you to be in the real world to collect some of his bones. And I think this is the level where I'll show you that. Yeah, for some reason, there's, uh... Now there's minotaurs and ghosts trying to kill you. Yeah, it's pretty much worthless. I don't know why they would want you to be able to select your regular... Oh my god. Your regular character to play as because he is worthless. And here's that bone I cannot collect in the in the dream world. I have to pretty much go back and find stereo or coffee. I don't know. It's the only one I found so far that I couldn't get in the dream world for some reason. This part here is actually pretty tricky because there's that that platform over there which is really tricky to get by. Yeah, you'll die a whole lot. That's really frustrating because as soon as you jump, your head is hitting that platform. So if you got ninja skills like I do, you can probably get through most of this game, no problem. The problem with it is that uh, enemies just seemingly pop out of nowhere, which is really frustrating. Oh, it looks like I missed a bone. So when you get to the end of the level and you miss a bone, you have to go all the way back and find it, and then you got to run back again. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, very, that's fucking brilliant on their part. Oh my god, now i got to fight my way back up there again. Oh my god, I hate these platforms. Stop it. Oh, I've said it before. Video game movie adaptations into video games. Or movie adaptations of video games. Just, they never work. They're just, they suck. Maybe with the exception of Warlock. They're, oh my god, 99% of them are shit. What? Oh, that's totally cool. Yeah, just put them right on the edge there, you fucking dickbags. Oh my god. Yeah, so if you, uh, maybe you have a friend who's like, Yeah, man, I just bought this new house and it has, uh, gigantic rats and spiders jumping out of holes. Where's this bone? Did I completely... See, some of the bones are actually very much hidden in the background, which is really frustrating. And I just did not see it. I really still am not seeing it. I don't know where it is. Maybe I can collect that, whatever that is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, where is this bone? There it is. You see it? It's up on the top right there. Just hidden right in that cobweb. That is really dumb. Which is fine, because I, I was... I wanted to... Oh my god, just forget it. I was going to wait for the, the dream world to come back up, but... This is what you gotta deal with when you're normal and you're fighting Jason, or Freddy. He just eats up all your lives. It's really fucking dumb. And here he sends tongues out to uh, kill you. That's really gross. First time I played through this, I actually got lucky and I was uh, playing through this as a, I was a ninja or something, and I just whooped that ass. In two seconds, but. Yeah. This is dumb. Look at this. Look at this. Just, yes, thank you. God. Punch a fucking snicker in the eye. So yeah, now I've uh, completely wasted a shit ton of lives. I gotta go run and find the next house that I can go into. While along the way, avoiding bats. I believe I've went in this house already, so I'm gonna move on. And giant rats. What the fuck? That's okay, because your character jumps like 800 miles in the air like... Like Michael Jordan for some reason. Oops, sorry about the throat noise. 
Come on, just let me get in there. I know that's gotta be the next house. It's fucking bullshit. Hello? See? There it goes. I don't know, for some reason, just at random. Just boop. You can go in now. But before, you couldn't. I don't, I don't know. If anybody can explain to me why that happens. I don't know. Is our enemies not supposed to be near the door or something? Like, that's not even fair. <laughs> Some of these jumps to get these bones are a little tricky, but not too hard. So actually, you kind of know your way around a Nintendo controller. It's fine. Yeah, I played enough. Oh no, I did not want to get that stupid coffee. God, the sound effects on this are just weird. <laughs> what? The, what is that? It's like some like. Oh, sure, that's that's cool. Yeah, rats are bats dropping rocks. Okay. I don't know what they're on when they were making this video game. They could have easily made this into an awesome game, but no, they decided to make shit. Yeah, we're gonna give you character. Uh, your the hero, no weapon at all. Just he's gonna have to run around and punch things, like just like on last action hero. That is fucking. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. And I got the coffee. I did not want to grab that coffee. It's fucking bullshit. <sighs> what the? Why? Oh, are they shitting on me? Is that what's going on? Is that, like, literally the game shitting on me? Just fuck... Oh, my God. Just... Oh, my... Look, look. He's, like, uh, an inch away, and I couldn't even, like, connect with his batty face. That is so fucking dumb. <sighs> so frustrated with this game right now. Brrrr! <laughs> Now suddenly we end up with super bad. I don't know where did he come from. Cool, yeah, daggers flying out of the wall. Yeah, it makes total sense to me. So now every household needs that. Uh, oh my god, the dagger wall installed. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Jeez. Oh, I gotta run back. Go through the hatch like I'm be a lost. Jeez. Stop it. Mm. Wow, that was the most easy time I've had collecting bones. Uh, just watch out for the lead water, I guess. The bad thing about this game, oh, finally, is that there's no health bar. As far as I know, there's no health bar. I, I haven't seen one. The only thing I've seen is that dream state meter. Okay, so there's the ninja. Throws shurikens, and there's the warlock. Actually, I believe on this one you want to... Oh my god. You kind of want to play as the ninja. Because you can just kick right through Freddy's fist that's flying around the room. It's like they didn't even program it. Like, yeah, just randomly... I mean, oh my god. And to, to hit him as the ninja, you have to be a bit higher than him. What? That connected? Fuck you. Wow, this is very inspiring. I'm sure I could probably just stand in the corner there and... Wow. What a shit fest. Totally uninspired gameplay. Holy shit. And for some reason, this wizard or warlock guy... Oh. Jumps like 800 feet in the air. Fuck that, I gotta be the ninja. <sighs> what the f... I don't know, this seems like, to me, like one of those games that they just made in like a day. Like they just didn't give a shit. Yeah, and the jumbo key pops out. Oh no, that's cool. That's totally fair. Them bats like instantly just hitting me. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, look at the timing, seniors. Can I go in here? I don't know. Maybe I... Do I have to, like... Oh, my God. Do I have to clear this out? Oh, that... Fucking die. Jeez. Hitting up. Hitting up. Nothing. Well, I guess I'll keep walking. Avoid the zombies, because they were in the movie, too, just like on Friday the 13th. So fucking dumb. <laughs> Can I go in here? I hate that you have to stand here and just guess. Like, can I go in here? I don't know. I have to stand, like, perfectly on the pixel. That'll make me go in the stupid house. <sighs> like, what the... F God, if, if you guys have already guessed it, this game is, is awful. It's... Oh, my God. It's so bad. It's one of those games you want to kind of have in your collection just to look at <laughs> to never actually play because or maybe play once because it's so awful <sighs> can I go in the junkyard can I go in anywhere please yeah. you know what I was just hitting up on that exact spot what the fuck Well, good thing I can one-punch kill those guys. I don't know. This is a junkyard, and for some reason there's, like, crystals down there. Oh, game over. Oh, darn. I, I, I have to stop playing this game, so... Uh, finally. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you find it, didn't find it too irritating. Me getting frustrated. But if you did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. So if you guys, And also, if you guys have a video you want me to, to uh, review... Just drop me a, something in the comment, and I'll definitely take a look. All right, guys. Take it easy.